Hello watch fans, Berthier watches here and this time for you we have a 1947 Rolex Oyster Precision. So just after the Second World War Rolex had switched from making some military watches and there is an army watch, Rolex Army, that looks quite similar to this but this is a completely different watch, the case is different to the army uh, although it uses the same movement. So stainless steel case the bracelet is much later, it's nothing to do with Rolex at all, there's even a dent on it there, but it's comfortable and it fits and it looks nice and we've cleaned it. Uh, we have got photos on the website of this watch on uh, brown or tan leather as well as black leather straps so you can see what difference that makes. Now let's address that hand, diamond shaped hour hand. At first I thought well, that's, that's a later replacement, that's not a Rolex hand. But before we bought the watch, we did our research, and we have found a picture of a very, very similar model, sadly it doesn't give the reference in the book, using exactly the same hand. So, we think that is a rare type. This diamond hand is a rare type of hand that was offered at the time. You could make the argument that it's the precursor for the uh, Tudor Snowflake. It is quite a stretch and it is 20 years difference at least before the uh, Tudor came out. But anyway, if you that hand is original. Whether it has been painted at some point and the loom replaced, that's more possible. We also think the crown may have been replaced this is a Rolex crown, it does screw down, it is one for a steel case, but the earlier ones uh, tend to have Rolex Oyster written around the outside, uh, so this looks like it's been replaced at some point by a, an authentic Rolex crown. Typical Oyster case back, as I mentioned the screw down crown, so this was a water resistant watch, which is one of the reasons it survived so well. Yes, there is some patina on the dial, it's from 1947. It should have some. I'd rather see that than a repainted dial. All in pretty good order. There is one mark on the lug at the bottom there. We haven't polished the case. I do like the way they put the lug holes for the changing straps just on one side. I think that's classy. Uh, this is available now at berthierwatches.com. Uh, it is probably cheaper than you expect when we say the words vintage Rolex. And the reason for that is it's a 31mm case and some people will say, oh, I couldn't possibly wear that. Well, I'm uh, 100 kilos, 220 pounds, and I'll happily wear it. I don't think that looks out of place on my wrist. So I shall happily wear it until someone takes it off me. Thanks for watching. The link is in the comments below.